The problem really says, can we live a different way? Here, here. Hmm? Right. A different way in which there are no wars, no hatreds, in which man loves man without competition, without division. We say, you are a Christian, you are a Catholic, you are a Protestant, you are this. That's also immature. There's no meaning. It's an intellectual, sophisticated division. And that's not a religious mind at all. That's not religion. A, re a religious mind is a mind that has no hatred that lives completely without fear, without anxiety, in which there is not a particle of antagonism. Therefore, that a mind that loves, that's in a, in a different dimension of living altogether. And nobody wants that. And in another sense, everybody wants that. But they won't, they won't go after it. They won't go after No, of course not. They are distracted by so many other things. They are so heavily conditioned by their powers, they hold on to it. The, the Indus is involved in the everlasting struggle, conflict. Man caught in his own conditioning and straining, struggling, beating his head to be free. So, and again, we have accepted, with the help of religions and all the rest of the group, that effort is necessary. That's part of life. Uh, that's, to me, that is the highest form of blindness, of limiting man to say you must everlastingly live in effort. You think we don't uh, have to? Not I think. It, it is. So it's not a question of thought. Thought is the most... Uh, Let's delete those two words and just say we don't have to. But to live without effort requires the greatest sensitivity and the highest form of intelligence. You don't just say, well, I won't struggle and become like a cow. Right. Right. But one has to understand the hoax conflict arises. The duality in us. Yes. The the fact of what is and what should be. That is the conflict.